The Community Partner Dashboard will be the first page a partner views after logging into MyBridges. The information a partner views on their dashboard depends upon the type of partner role that person and organization have. If a partner also serves as a referral partner, new referrals displays in the notification section. When new referrals are sent to an organization, partners can easily learn this here. Partners can search for clients in their directory on their dashboard. If a navigator has a new client assigned to their caseload, a notification displays. Let's review the I want to section. The options in this section allow partners to quickly view groups of clients with specific needs. Clients with urgent needs are clients who responded in Help Me Find Resources and selected needs that MDHHS has categorized as urgent. Urgent needs identification is only a community partner feature. A client does not know if they have been identified as having a need that is considered urgent. Listed on this screen are examples of needs that MDHHS has categorized as urgent. If you select a quick link, for example, clients with urgent needs, on your dashboard, the client directory opens with only the clients in that category filtered. You can select the client's name to view their profile and any information the client has given consent to share with you. If you select the All filter, you can view all clients assigned to you in MyBridges in the client directory. Just like from the partner dashboard, using the client directory, partners can search for their client from the text field. Using the directory, you can view the client's information. The information you can view depends on what the client has consented to sharing with you. Notice you can view household information, needs and resources, benefit information, case history, and documents needed. You only want to use this information to view the client's case when you are not with them. If the client is with you, it is best to have them log into their account to answer questions. There is also a comments box at the bottom of the page. This comments box is not seen by the client and is a helpful place for you to record notes. Notice that at the bottom of the page is a consent section. Here you can see what information the client has decided to share with the navigator. On each of the tabs, you'll see a quick summary of the different topics. If the client has shared their case history with you, you will see the most recent application submitted, changes reported, and renewed benefits. To see more detailed information, you can click Show More. After clicking Show More, you will see the same information the client sees about their case history. For applications, you can see a full list of their submission history. You can also see the results of healthcare applications by clicking View Results. For the healthcare application results, you can see the individual applying for healthcare, the type of coverage, and the status of the application. To go back, simply click Back in the Healthcare Applications Results box. By clicking the Report Changes tab, you'll see a history of all the times your client has reported a change, including the tracking number and date submitted. By clicking the Renew Benefits tab, you'll see a history of all the times your client has renewed their benefits, including the tracking number, the program that was renewed, the form that was completed, and the date submitted. To go back to the client directory, click Back to the Client Directory. On the Docs Needed tab, you'll see a list of documents the client needs to submit. As a navigator, you will see both the document type that is needed and the date it needs to be submitted by. If the document is listed in red text, that means that the document is overdue and has not been submitted. On the Benefits tab, you will see the list of programs that your client is active in and the names of participants in each of the programs. Just like for case history, when a partner clicks Show More, they will see the same information the client sees related to their active benefits. Here the partner can see the participants, their beneficiary ID, coverage, and renewal due date. Partners can also view redetermination letters the client has received by clicking the View Letters tab. If you would like to view the client's letter, you can click the blue hyperlink under the letter title to see a PDF version of the letter. Notice the red exclamation icon at the top. This shows the navigator that their client has an urgent need related to their case. If a client has given consent to view their needs and resources with the navigator, the navigator can see the resource topic the client has, the number of needs in that topic, and the number of corresponding resources the client has. 
Clicking Show More will show all the resources the client has added to their resources page. This is the same information the client sees. You can also print resources by selecting Print at the top of the page. Notice the purple Referral Sent icon. This icon means that the client has sent their contact information to the resource to learn more about the services they provide. If a client has previously removed a resource they had on their current resources page, a list of removed resources will show on the Removed Resources tab. This tab will only show if the client has previously removed a resource. If a client has previously removed a resource they had on their current resources page, a list of removed resources will show on the Removed Resources tab. This tab will only show if the client has removed resources in the past. From this page, partners can see removed resources for the last year. For each resource, you will see the need the resource could meet, the name of the organization, if a referral was sent, the date removed, and a button to suggest to the client the resource. To suggest a resource to the client that has previously been removed, the partner can click the Suggest to Client button. After a resource is suggested, the button will turn green to indicate a resource has been sent to the client. The client will receive a notification on their dashboard, mobile phone, or email that their navigator has suggested a resource. Notice the Explore Resources and Help Me Find Resources buttons. Partners can also suggest to their clients by completing Explore Resources or Help Me Find Resources for their client. To complete Explore Resources or Help Me Find Resources for your client, click on one of the buttons to start the search. Both Explore Resources and Help Me Find Resources will look exactly the same as the client sees. Using this feature is helpful when reviewing a client's case or when you are not physically with them. Just like the client can do after clicking on a resource, you can submit a request to 211 to fix information that is incorrect. To suggest a resource to your client, all you have to do is click the blue Send Resource to Client button. Again, the client will receive a notification on their dashboard, mobile phone, or email that their navigator has suggested a resource.